way back before phones had apps, touch screens or cameras. One Finnish brand led the mobile phone revolution. Taking forward our series next video in the rise and fall of the industry in the list today is Nokia. Yes, Nokia. I know we all are related to this company because Nokia means mobile phone and mobile phone means Nokia. <music> everyone so I'm here back with the most interesting story of the decade I would say most reliable and trusted industry giant Nokia but before I begin I will request all of you to please subscribe our channel IP Jagrupi so that I get reason to come up with more brilliant and informative content for you okay so from market domination to sell off in less than 10 years as Microsoft swoops into buy Nokia's mobile business for $7.2 billion. What happened to this Finland's most beloved co company and why would Microsoft take it on? And we will also discuss the role of patent portfolio in Nokia's journey. Whenever we turned on one of the Nokia's legendary handsets, we always got the same thing, that one famous signature logo and holding hands. And for more than one generation, it was hand-holding Nokia's did best carrying people through bit by bit the mobile revolution. In the days before, highly customizable background and operating system, there were swappable and very, very cool fascias. And of course, more than 12 years before anyone ever made Angry Birds or the bird angry, there were mobile game to rule them all and that was Snake. Nokia were by no means the first company to release a commercially viable mobile phones. Nokia were so dominant, people didn't talk about what brand it was, just about the numbers 3210 or 1310 or something like that. So whatever you had, you have the numbers. They took users on journey. But as it is said that the time you get the feeling that you cannot do anything wrong and you are unbeatable you automatically get into the zone of not experimenting and not doing state-of-art research. And same happened with Nokia, thinking that they can never be wrong and no one can beat them, defeat them. They stopped innovating and then all of a sudden, in January 2007, Steve Jobs walked onto a stage and pulled an iPhone off his pocket and changed the world forever. The fall was swift. According to figures from Gartner, Nokia's smartphone market shares in 2007 was dominant 49.4% and then started falling to 43.7, then 41.1, and then 34.2 in subsequent years. And in around 2013, it fallen to 3%. Everyone has their own reason why Nokia has uh, failed but many say this reason that reason some say symbian because of the operating system many others have other reason but one reason which actually motivated me to me a lot to talk about is that I think the main reason for this is Nokia downfall that is actually Nokia was making great phone but they stopped innovating and stopped experimenting and they didn't predicted the market what customer wanted and as we know innovation begins change and we all love that and this is the main reason I think that was for the fall of Nokia. Once the former Nokia CEO Stephen Elop said that we didn't do anything wrong but somehow we lost and his this statement proved that why they lost just because they didn't adopt the change. It took just few years for Nokia phones to go from being the must-have handset in your hands or pocket to being the long forgotten handset. Discussing few of the mistakes which Nokia did, they only focused on the hardware. Reluctant to change the operating system. Dysfunctional organization. Missing the smartphone waves. So now the question arises, why would Microsoft spend $7.2 billion on a business that looks like it's on the way out? On September 3, 2013, Microsoft announced that it would acquire Nokia's mobile 
phone division for $7.2 billion. Microsoft had been looking for a way to enter the mobile phone industry to better compete with that time giant and present time giant, I would say, Apple and Google. In acquiring Nokia's service and devices unit, Microsoft took control of Nokia's mobile phone division and smartphone division, design team, licensing agreement, and approximately 32,000 new employees. Given Microsoft's strength in software and Nokia's in devices, the acquisition was anticipated to be smooth, successful in transactions. Many will argue Microsoft had no choice as Nokia controlled more than 90% of the Windows phone market and had been rumored to be considering switching to Android. So this was the acquisition or you can say merger between Nokia and Microsoft. Now, what role did Nokia's patent portfolio has played? Because till date, Nokia is alive due to its patents. Nokia may have sold its handset business to Microsoft Corporation, but by hanging on to its valuable patent portfolio, Microsoft agreed initially to pay $5 billion for Nokia's handset business and another 1.65 billion euros for a 10 years license for Nokia's patents considered some of the highest quality of patent in the mobile market. Here, Microsoft bought the design patents outright but licensed Nokia's 30,000 utility patents for 10 years. Nokia understood the power of patent and for that, for Nokia to sell the business and not sell the patent, there must be something else cooking to recover the value. Nokia understood the power of patent and it knew that in spite they have failed in mobile phones, but their patent can give huge fight to Android phones. And this was the reason why Google paid $12.5 billion in 2011 for Motorola Mobility, a transaction largely driven by the patent value. Now, what's the game? So Nokia's industry-leading patent portfolio is built on more than Euro's 130 billion investment in R&D since 2000 and is composed of around 20,000 patent families, including over 3,500 patent families, declared essential to 5G. Now, in one of the recent press releases, Nokia ranked as number one in 5G patent. And this news is of 2021 only. In one of the recent press releases, Nokia is ranked as number one in 5G patent. An independent study by PA consulting firm, Nokia's leadership in 5G standard essential patents. The finding is the latest to rank Nokia number one for patent declared as essential for cellular standards, including 5G. Nokia may have failed to develop a smartphone that challenged either Apple or Android, but the power of its patent portfolio can be demonstrated through many cases. First, in 2009, Nokia sued Apple, in which it claimed that iPhone makers had violated 46 Nokia patents, including one covering wireless standards, antennas, cameras, click wheel, and touch screen control. Apple agreed to settle last one year for an undisclosed cash payment and ongoing royalties. Nokia get more than $600 million every year in revenue related to its patent. Second case, Nokia in 2012 filed lawsuit against HTC, RIM and ViewSonic in the US and Germany for allegedly violating 45 patents covering antennas, power management, app store, data inscriptions, and retrieval of email attachment and more. There also Nokia won and have a huge, they had to pay huge royalty to Nokia. Third case, Nokia recently signs a patent license back with Samsung. The amount is undisclosed. Whether it comes through license, sales, or litigation, Patent-related cash flow could be vital for Nokia. Nokia can take advantage of its strong and diversified patent portfolio and bring innovative product in the market. So now, I hope you understand the power of patent despite of everything. Your IP can be your life support. And I feel that Nokia still has a lot of potential to rise again and 
I read somewhere that while the past of Nokia has been about connecting people, and I really like this statement, the past is about connecting people and the future can be about connecting world. So this was all about Nokia's story, the rise and fall of Nokia. And as I stated, I hope that Nokia will rise again because still they have a huge patent and IP portfolio. So this was all about for today the rise and fall of Nokia and again hope that Nokia will rise. But at the end, I would request all my viewers to subscribe our channel if you want me to come up with any specific company's story, IP portfolio or the technology stories. Please mention in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching IP Jagruti.